In this Blender tutorial, we will try to create this kind of design. I'm going to delete this design. Let's start new. Shift A, go to the curve and add a circle. Go to the edit mode, select these handles and then S, Y and scale them along the Y axis. Select these handles and go to the transform pivot point and turn on this individual origin and then scale them. Then select this handle and switch the transform pivot point to bounding box and scale them in this way. Here we have got the elliptical shape. Here you can adjust the resolution of the curve but I will keep it as it is. Then right click and convert it to the mesh. Go to the edit mode. Select everything and then press F to fill the gap. Then E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Like this. Then apply the scale. Now we need to add one cylinder at there. Shift A mesh and add a cylinder. And I will add 16 word cylinder. Scale it down in this way and give the right position to it. If you align these vertical edges, then you will get good topology with less efforts. Like this. Then select these two objects and then use the boolean operation union. Go to the modifier, apply this boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. Then go to the edit mode. Go to the side view, use the knife tool and create cut like this. Then here we need to merge these words together. Select these words and merge at last. Like this. And here also we need to create a cut. Use the knife tool. CY and create cut like this. Then select these words and merge them at last. Like this. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Then use the knife tool and create one horizontal cut. Then press G and move it along the z-axis in this way. Now select these words and merge at last. Then select these faces, this face loop and delete it. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Use the insert operation like this. Then select this face loop and this face and use the insert operation one more time. Then add one loop cut here. And control B add bevel on it. Add two segment bevel. Then select the center edge loop and press Alt S to scale it along the normal. Select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel. Then add one loop cut here. One loop cut here and one loop cut here. Then go to the side view, go to the edit mode, use the knife tool and create this kind of slant cut. And then you can select this edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry. Dissolve this word, select these words and then press J to connect them. Select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. You will get this kind of slant cut. Then use the knife tool and create one more cut here. Then create cut like this. Then select these faces and use the insert operation like this. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of straight cut and create one cut horizontally. And then use the knife tool and create cut along the Z axis. Add one loop cut here and create cut like this. Add one loop cut like this. Add one loop cut here. Then connect these words and then press J. Dissolve these edges. Select these words and press M. Merge at last. Just connect the words like this. Dissolve these edges. Dissolve this edge. Then select everything. Mesh and symmetry. Stick the symmetry. Dissolve this edge and dissolve this edge also. Here just adjust the position of the words little bit like this and then dissolve this edge. Then select these edge loops and control B add bevel on them. Add a two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. 
Then add a few more loop cuts like this. Add a few loop cuts here. Then add one loop cut here. Select this words merge at last. And then dissolve this each loop. And then select this words, connect them. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of loop structure. And just connect these words. And then select everything, mesh, submit, try, take the symmetry. So you will get this kind of loop structure around this detail. You can select this each loop and then move it along the z axis in this way. Then take the symmetry, then select these circular faces, dissolve these edges, scale them, use the insert operation, and press Alt S to scale them along the normal and then extrude along the z axis. Select these edge loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them. Select this face, use the insert operation, delete this face, select this edge and then face grid fill. Adjust the offset. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut to create good topology. Create this kind of loop structure. And just adjust the position of the words a little bit. And then select everything, mesh and symmetry. Let's take the symmetry. And at the bottom also you can create topology. Use the insert operation, delete these faces, select this edge loop and then face grid fill. Adjust the offset like this. Turn on the simple blending. Select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. And then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and you will get this kind of design. Shade smooth it. You can see the topology. You can see the form. So in this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye in the next video. Take care.